Okay. Now we're ready. So, if you haven't seen me before, I usually have more makeup on, but what I wanted to do is try some of these things on, on camera for you. Um, obviously not like the eyeshadow palette and perfume. You can't really smell that. So <laughs> you're SOL there. But anyways, I am Renee Carlson, Seattle M-U-A Renee on Instagram. I'll leave a link below. Yeah, that's what I do here. So if you want to know what I want you to get, then just keep watching. And also I'm filming on my phone, so I can't show you what's in my basket, but so the sale starts on Friday for Rouge members for 20% off. I'll leave all the information and the codes and everything below too, if I can get them easily. I think I saw them. So I will try my best just for you. So, um, yeah, I haven't been on in quite a while. I figured that this would be an easier, quicker video to just quickly upload and get up for you guys because, you know, the last time we talked, I wanted and I did, well, partially film my own personal struggle and experience with depression and anxiety. Why do you always have to make that sound when you drink? Especially when you drink soda. I don't know. I'm tired, guys. <laughs> so, I, I can tell you that one thing that I plan on getting just launched today on Sephora, which is the Huda Beauty Meta, the Mercury retrograde. Again, I'm all confused. Natasha had the, um, God, I can't think you guys, like my brain is just so tired. Metamorphosis. Is that what it was? I don't know. Palettes are just flowing out lately. Like I just, I, I've been in this industry for a long time and mainly on Instagram this year is just, I'm going to do YouTube on top of everything else. So, um, I actually don't think in probably the six years that I've been doing this, that I have seen just palette after palette after palette after palette. And, you know, I mean, that's great and all, but I see kind of a lot of the same color stories from different brands. So, you know, I would recommend that before you buy every palette to kind of look at your collection and see if you have similar colors because there's a lot of, in my opinion, similarities lately. So let's get on with what I love and what, and we'll try stuff on and we'll just uh, do this at 1 a.m., <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah, so on top of, these are actual glasses so I can see. So now, now I look, look like a very smart, sophisticated devil, upgraded. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's start somewhere. Let's start with my favorite perfume. So this is the YSL Manifesto. I'm horrible. Oh man, I don't know about the glare. Maybe I'll just have to put them on when I actually have to read something. 
Um, this, I mean, how do you describe a scent? Do you want to smell this? Can you smell it? <laughs> no, you can't. But it's got this just sexy, it's kind of, I wouldn't say musky, maybe a little bit, but kind of just vanilla and just sexiness. And what I love about it the most is that, you know, it it's pretty strong if you spray it on, so go lightly. But even if you just spray a tiny little bit, it lasts all day. Like it just doesn't wear off. I've even smelt it on a jacket like the next day, lightly, in a good way. So definitely check this out. I also love the black opium one. I haven't tried the new one. I saw a lot of reviews about it and I'm a little skeptical. So I'm just gonna stick to what I love. This is my fave. So let's do some skincare. I just have a few things, you guys. I'm not trying to be here all night. I do need to sleep at some point in time. So the Sunday Riley CEO Micro Dissolve Cleansing Oil. I love this. I also like the Ole Hendrickson oil control, I believe it's called, but this has vitamin C and lime pearl extract. What does that do for me? I don't know, but what I do know is that this just, oh. Okay, my Wi Fi just cut out for some reason. So, what I love about this is it just it blends so effortlessly and after you rub it in and you know, it's safe for everywhere and it just gives you this glow and your skin feels really clean. So that's always a good thing. But yeah, lots of good stuff in here. And so definitely recommend that. They usually do um, little gift sets since it's getting closer to the holiday season. I bet that they have some sets where you can get a smaller, you know, not not like samples, but bigger trial size to try out everything. And so I'd recommend doing that if you're new to, you know, uh, Drunk Elephant does it, uh, Algenist, Sunday Riley. So yeah, just FYI. Uh, foundation, so, this Giorgio Armani powder fabric. So I have combo, oily, sensitive, green skin. <laughs> and I just find that this color not only matches me well, I have 4.5. And so this is more of a long wear and a higher coverage than the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I have Luminous, <laughs> Luminous Silk too, but for me, it just doesn't work as well, even though I wish that they would have kept the same exact color range because 5.5 worked amazing, but 5.5 is not the same in powder fabric. So, but I just love the finish on this. It doesn't have that like super, super, super matte look to it. It just, it just provides this kind of satin finish, I guess you would say. It is full coverage and it does last all day. So there's the little...
just beautiful. It just blends so easy. So if you're looking for a foundation to splurge on, I definitely recommend that one. And then my new favorite powder, the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. So this is actually a, a powder foundation. However, I don't, I just don't, I, I'm not at that stage yet and I am getting older so I don't know if I'll ever be at that stage. I used to just use um, MAC, the, the Studio Fix uh, powder, but you know, I got older and I got acne and got acne scarring. So anywho, definitely recommend this. And I do notice that the color range for the foundation is very similar to the powder format. I lost the brush, go figure. So this is shade Y315 which is the same shade that I use in the foundation, but it just, like, I wish, I wish you could feel this. I have to take these off. Just, yeah. <laughs> Where's my finger? There it is. Just such a beautiful, beautiful finish. It does actually cover i'd say this is probably the highest coverage powder foundation i have tried it just blurs your pores and just it's almost like an airbrush powder but i definitely use it to on top of my foundation so but i still love it on no makeup days or if i'm just running into town I always have that in my purse. Oh, so one brush, actually two brushes you need. This video is already 13 minutes long. God, why do I talk so much? Unfortunately, not only did Chloe decide that she wanted to have this as a snack, but it's been through a lot and the numbers have worn off but it's an it cosmetics it's one of the airbrush flawless finish foundation brushes i'll link it below or i'll try to or one similar you guys i have three of these it cosmetics just kills it when it comes to face brushes, as far as eye brushes and stuff, I don't. I have other brands that I prefer way over It Cosmetics, but for powder and foundation, oh, just they're, they're just, in my opinion, the best. And then the Anastasia I think it's the A23, again, worn off, because I love it. I'm obsessed. Did I bring, oh yeah, I did. So I actually can't, well, I mean, I could, but I never want to use a different brush for highlighting than this. Just, it just, I always gravitate towards it. It just creates not a harsh stripe. Like if you go, and which I used to do. Unfortunately, I used to look like a highlighted zebra. And uh, I cannot find one. Maybe, maybe I tossed them all so that I never look like that again. But you guys know what a fan brush looks like, hopefully. Because I, I can't find one. Okay, I give up. So it just, it provides just a nice amount of coverage and the way that the bristles are just, it's just 
great, you guys. It's just great. So this is the Fenty Kilowatt in Girl Next Door and Chick Freak. This is my favorite one from the duos. I know that there are a few new ones as well. So let's just, uh, let's just put some of this on. So right now, all I have on is I put on a little bit of this, um, Lancome that, that I don't even want to pronounce this. <laughs> Tient Adol Ultra Wear Makeup Stick. I mean, did we really have to get this complicated for makeup? So I have that concealer and this powder, and that's all I have on right now. So let's see. I think I want to do this lighter one. Not like I'm going anywhere, but yeah. What I love about these highlighters, the duos, I find that like Trophy Wife and um, What a Brat, the pink one, they're more glittery and so they have a lot of fallout and they don't really give that glow look. It's more like a strip of glitter. So I definitely recommend this one. Actually, let's do this color on this cheek. I have a mirror over here, so that's why I'm, I just got to make sure I actually get my face, you know. So, there is that side, and there is that side. It's not this wham, bam, in your face highlight seen from space, but it's just so silky. And I, what I love about it the most is that it doesn't, it doesn't um, look textured and it looks smooth on textured skin because right here, my skin, that's where I have the most acne scarring and yeah. So definitely, definitely recommend that. Um, I've, I've really got to not talk about all these things. The Cover FX Blush Duos. Oh, just get this one. If you are like light to medium, if you're, you know, as dark as tan or so, this would work. I believe it would even work for really light skin tones. Just go easy, you know, don't go in hard and look like a clown. Cause that's, that's never cute. You're not going to meet a good guy that way. Okay. <laughs> Is this old ass Victoria's Secret brush. <laughs> it's just a poor thing. This I had for, I don't even want to know how long. Okay, apparently I didn't take that off. And you guys, um, I know that there's going to be some questions about this mirror. Benefit sent it to me a while ago. I'm not sure if they sell it anywhere. They might on their website. I don't know. So I'm just warning you because it, it's super cute and you're going to want it. So, see, look at how, I probably should have used a better brush. This is it's actually scratching my face, but that's nah, okay. It's just my face. Really got to blend that shit in. <laughs> Okay, so there it is. It, it it might look a little blotchy, hopefully not, but 
So this is Spice Cinnamon and not gonna lie, the other side of this is not, in my opinion, a highlighter. It's more of a blush topper, but still, these blushes are amazing. I also love the new Buxom ones, and I have one of the Patrick Ta blushes that just launched, I believe, the other day. So... Thank you, Sephora, for actually launching new products that I really want before the sale and not the day after it ends. Much appreciated. Okay, let's just do a couple more things, you guys. Like, I can't. I just can't. Norvina has been on a palette extravaganza. I, I haven't seen... So many palettes from Anastasia and Narvina. Just crazy. So this is volume three. I got volume one as well. For now, I've passed on volume two. That's the noise you make when you open palettes. But this, and I have a pretty recent look on my Instagram page using it. These are so extremely pigmented. In fact, it's called the, you know, Pro Pigment Palette. Although, I must warn you, because they are so, so pigmented that definitely wash your face and, you know, use eye makeup remover and make sure to, you know, do that very well because the darker colors definitely, ooh, <laughs> definitely, uh, I noticed my eyes had just a little bit of staining. I mean, it wasn't bad, but just keep that in mind. Uh, concealer, concealer, you need this. The Benefit Boing, this concealer, I didn't, you know, I was on the Tarte Wagon Shape Tape, then I moved to Too Faced, the multi-use sculpting concealer. This puppy, actually, it's not a puppy. My puppies are downstairs sleeping, like normal people, like normal dogs. But what I love about this the most, so this is shade four, I believe. Yeah. I love the applicator, the slant on it that is so precise like that. It makes it so easy to get into your face crevices. <laughs> so just show you really quick. Oh, I didn't bring a brush in here. I just washed my hands. So I definitely don't recommend doing this. You do have to set it. At least I do. I found if I, I didn't set it the first time I used it and I found that it did cake up just a little bit, but nothing bad. And the, the way it applies and how easy it blends out and the coverage, it's just, is speechless. Let's do, um, you, I have this and then I have two lipsticks, you guys. That's, that's, that's it. These Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadows. Are you serious, Hourglass? I need all of these. This color is a more recent one. 
I'll probably pick up another one of these too. They are just, they're up there. The Stila, the, these ones, you know. I believe this, is this Kitten Karma? Yeah. These ones are by far my favorite glitter eyeshadows, but let me tell you, this one and this color for fall, which is called Rapture, I think. Let me be an old lady, hold on. <laughs> uh, Rapture. So, and I love, I, I mean, I can't say that I love dipping my finger into a product to put on my eyelid, I don't know what it is. It's some weird thing that I have. I'm a weirdo, that's all. So this just do a live swatch so you can see it. And that's just one swipe. They're so buildable. And obviously I do not have a primer on my arm. So I found that somewhat of a kind of tacky primer works well for these and they last all day. And they definitely have less fallout than the Stila ones. So they have that going for them. Honestly, the Urban Decay ones, they're more of a glitter shot. Yeah, glitter shadow topper. They're not opaque enough to me to be considered a glitter, a liquid or gel glitter shadow. ColourPop has some amazing ones too, by the way. I have a few of those. And, you know, I know, they, I don't think they have them at Sephora. I know they have some, but I don't know which ones. And I'm not going to look right now. Too bad, so sad for you. So, let's do two fall lipsticks. I have a Huda Beauty Matte Liquid Lipstick. Her formula, you guys, hands down, my favorite. Just, there is... As soon as I tried this, Jeffree Star was before, still love that formula too, but Huda takes the cake for me. So this is the shade Trendsetter. And, oh, it's gonna look really good with this eyeshadow. Do the um, monochromatic look. These are so the consistency is so thin and it doesn't dry out my lips at all. And I have super dry chapped lips and it's very, they're very weightless. You can wear it all day and it doesn't get that little, you know, piece in, in there that we, we don't like, we don't, we don't like that. It's not cute happens though and then Marc Jacobs you know if you're gonna splurge and there's a sale you might as well kind of you know get get yourself treat yourself get one luxury item that you know just makes you happy that's my suggestion so if you want a good fall color I love these Marc Jacobs lipsticks this is blow and it looks kind of scary well not I just have my ring light on so oh this hair is already at a Halloween party it's more of a purple kind of dusty purple brown I don't know how to explain it well Unfortunately, I 
made a bad decision and decided to swatch over my very veiny wrist for some reason. So here is the world's worst swatch of lipstick. I think that we should call the Guinness Book of World Records and I, I think this might be the worst swatch ever. But look at that color. Isn't that just gorgeous? Okay, one more thing, one more thing. I haven't looked to see if they still have this, but this is the, it's a Sephora brand. Eye, eyeliner and lip liner sharpener, but it has five different holes. Ow, my elbow. It has five different holes in it, so it works for everything that is that you can sharpen. And so you don't have to have one for this and one for that. And I even got my mom hooked on this thing. It is just so convenient. Okay, you guys, that's it. I'm done for tonight. I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know what you're planning on getting from the sale. And um, yeah, oh, I'm also going to be having a little giveaway on my Instagram. So you might want to check there because it, it might be a few things from the brand new MAC holiday collection to give back to you guys that I love so, so much. So anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like this video because the next video is going to be pretty raw and, you know, but it's important for me to not only share my experience, but to get some information out there that, you know, I found out. And that is one of the reasons why it's taking me so long is all the research. I want to make sure that I'm saying the right thing and I have my facts straight. So about the medication. Anyways, happy Halloween. I love you so, so, so much. Thank you for your support. And I will talk to you another time about depression. <laughs> Love you guys.